What's up, y'all? Hey, uh, as everyone knows, the uh, actor Chadwick Boseman um, passed away this past Friday and everything, right? And so I'm going to call this joint Lessons from Chadwick Boseman. And there's two major ones. Because, yeah, it was a shock to everybody that he passed away. But, um... Uh, and you know he had kept quiet that he had had colon uh, colon rectal uh, cancer, and all this time, I mean, really since 2016, and yet he did a lot of movies in that time, and that was something, and it was like no clue, no rumor, no anything, and I mean that's incredible in itself, and that's one of the lessons. I'm gonna get into that part later. But there's two major lessons. The first major lesson is because, you know, there was some pics on him, uh, of him before he passed and he had lost a lot of weight. And of course, some people were rightly concerned about it because when you get a weight loss like that, I mean, there was only three possibilities, right? He was going through something emotional like really emotional when you get a sudden weight loss like that it's some emotional thing or a sudden weight gain it's an emotional thing usually with women but it can happen to men too and then you know he was doing it maybe for a movie part that was a possibility because uh you know like christian bale he he would go he would go from like overweight to uh emaciated right for a part but no nobody said that and then, then of course a major illness and that's what it turned out to be. Because when I saw first saw that he was uh, losing weight, I said, okay, something going on with him. I ain't think to like the one about he doing it for a part. I said, something going on, right? But see, here's the issue I have. And this is the first lesson. You had some idiots out there calling him the crack panther and trying to joan on him. I'm going to be real with you. They need their asses fucked up. They need their asses fucked up just in general. And I guarantee a lot of trolling to stop if every time somebody troll, karma get them and, you know, somebody break their foot off in their bitch asses. Seriously. You know? And the lesson there was, you don't know what's going on with somebody. You say they sick or something going on with them, at the minimum, you should leave them alone. Even people I dislike, if, uh, if I saw a physical difference, even in some content creators who call themselves coming at me, I saw a physical difference in them. My first concern be, are they okay? Because, you know, calling yourself roasting somebody or going out on that's one thing, but you're talking about life. You're talking about life there, right? And, you know, the lesson there from Chadwick, his situation was you don't know what's going on with somebody. Seriously, you do not know what's going on with somebody. They could be going through hell. They could be going through hell. They could have had or maybe either, you know, either a sickness or an emotional thing. That could be just as bad. I've seen people, like, go through some sickness just from losing a close relative. That's tough. That's trauma. You know? That's trauma or any type of trauma. That's a slow killer. And it's not something that you would wish on anybody if you got any sense of heart, morality, anything. But that's that's the first thing. It's like, come on now, this dude going through some stuff, but you gonna mess with him? You gonna try to come at him? And I really do mean that when I say it, karma need to fuck their motherfucking asses up. Now, the best thing they could do is maybe atone in one way or other or realize, yeah, they made a mistake. They didn't know what's going on with this man. Because, you know, and that's the thing, too. Sometimes people go at somebody and they call it roasting or entertainment. But when it's something like, you know, maybe if it's something they say and, you know, both sides are laughing and, you know, like whatever. Okay, fine. But when you see somebody just, you know, it look like something's going on. Leave the fuck alone. You pray for him if you believe in any sort of God. You know, you hope everything get well. And I've actually known some people like that. I've known some people the type who go at everybody, but as soon as the second they see something wrong with that person, they they be sometimes the first people to help them. That's how people got to be. So that's the first lesson. I don't want to get that out of the way. I didn't want to end on that one. But the main lesson from that brother, that brother was diagnosed. 
I think I think in 2016 years ago. Think about how many movies he made in the meantime. I mean, the Black Panther. I mean, you know, he. I think he might have made Captain America: Civil War before he got diagnosed. But then, even then, it was still. It had to be still there. When you get to that level, it was already there. It's just not showing. You know. So, but he definitely made the Black Panther, the two Avengers movies. And then he made some uh, stuff in between. And then amidst all of that, amidst all of that, you know, he was going to like St. Jude's Hospital, like really dealing with some kids who are really going through it. So, I mean, he was a hero for them. He's a hero for a lot of people. Now, I know a lot of people might get into, um, you know, being a Black Panther, the image that that presented. That's very important. That's very key. In fact, for those who may be on the more spiritual tip, you know, maybe that was his purpose to bring that out. But the fact that despite everything going on with him physically, he still handled his business. And I'm going to talk about that. Um, we got a podcast coming tomorrow. I'm going to talk about that. But, you know, he still did what he had to do. And I'm going to tell you something now. The fact he didn't look for any type of sympathy. He didn't look for any type of sympathy. My man went up there and did what he had to do. You know, he, he didn't say anything. You didn't have anything. And the people close to him probably know they didn't say anything. Because you know how they do with a lot of actors. Someday you get like some press, paparazzi, whoever, gossipers who are trying to find out some shit. Because unfortunately people get entertained by that shit. Because even me talking about Chadwick right now, y'all notice, I don't talk about anything. Uh, people are hitting me up sometimes and say, hey, talk about this celebrity. This and I, told, I tell people, I tell them in the comments, I don't deal with it. But this is different because it's not even just what he did as an actor, but just as a man. What he did as a man. I mean, he, I mean, he could have been that type who could have said, well, okay. I'm going to still fight this to make some money and do these films, but he did extra. My man did extra. And I um, saw a 2020 special about him after they showed Black Panther last night on ABC. And they were just like, all the stuff he did outside of it. Outside of just being an actor. You know, and that that's really, that's really something to look at. Something to consider. Because the lesson there is, as a man... You gotta just take care of stuff. You just gotta do what you're supposed to be doing. And sometimes it's not easy. It's not easy because let's be real. All of us, you know, most of us might not have cancer, but we still gotta do it. With your father, you're going through some stuff, but you still got those kids you gotta feed. You still got a, a family you have to protect, but you still go. You know? And I know some dudes, they, they going through some stuff going through some stuff and still handle their business. They getting major operations, still handling their business. Suffering from high blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, and still handling their business no matter what. You know? Doing what they have to do. Even some some may be even physically disabled. They're, I've known men who are physically disabled and still did their work. And see, this thing bigger than like man gets woman. It's just about man being a man. You know, sometimes you just got to go out there and do that stuff. You, you got to do it. Ain't no ifs, ands, and buts. And the lesson from Chadwick was he just went out and did what he had to do. You know, he could have, shoot, he could have easily probably called it quits. Or he probably, he probably could have did what a lot of people would have did. They would have said, hey, I got cancer. I'm fighting this. And. You know, it would have been an outpouring of support and everything. But you know what? Even if he did something like that, just the character that he's shown, he would have been an a outstanding spokesman for getting those early tests, for taking care of those things. You know? But, you know, that's 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 it. That's, he was a man. And honestly, that's what it means to be a man. Seriously. Everybody come on here... And just go beyond like that alpha beta thing or even that select non-select thing. You know, seriously, this goes beyond it all. It's about being, and this is something I talked about in my book. It's about being going beyond those categories or whatever term you want to use, 80, 20, 95, 5. It's about being a man out this motherfucker. Seriously. 
about being a man. In fact, that's really, even with the stuff I talk about, you know, when I talk about select, non-select, that ain't, that ain't supposed to be your identity, really, to be honest. And definitely, I don't get into the whole alpha beta thing. My thing is, you a man, period. That That is beginning and end. Everything else is just a diagnostic tool to know what you might need to work on. But ultimately, your goal is to be a man. I even say that in um, Nice Guys and Players. Because I talk about the categories, but I it specifically introduced the fifth category. That's a real man. And Chadwick was he was a real man. So, you know, I know it's impacting some people. Many people say it, but uh, he's, an, he's an ancestor now. And he's, uh, what he's done is inspired many. No telling how many, no telling how many young men young men especially that he inspired young boys who saw that and he feel like hey I can do this too and that's what's important and he did what he had to do he, he fought for, through all of his pain that's what it means to be a man to do what he had to do so I wanted to I wanted to just speak on that it's going this like I say this one of the rare occasions I say something that's dealing with a celebrity because y'all know me like I said I don't really get into all this stuff even some who've passed, but in this case, in this case, you uh, gotta respect what he's done as a man. And then, like that first lesson I said, if somebody you see somebody going through something, don't don't go in on them. This shit ain't funny. And I really do, I really do hope anybody was trying to go in on me, the A learned their lesson, or B get punished by karma. Seriously. But the thing, ultimate thing, though, above everything else is to use his life as an example of what he fought for and being who you're supposed to be. As I said, that's what it means to be a man. So, for Chadwick Boseman, rest in power, brother. You came here, you, you fulfilled your mission, you fulfilled your purpose. Yes, rest with the ancestors, man. Peace and blessings, family.